Also, we also in our company we offer training. So we've got a training on the 26th of the 3rd, um, which we do it here on site, where we teach people nutrition, uh, goat management, we bring goats, we trim hooves, we explain to them when they're looking at bucks how to uh, select a good buck, what to look for, what are the good traits, and we really hammer nutrition. Uh, what they can grow, which is easy and drought resistant in Matabili land for their goats, like uh, Dorophia. Um, there's a couple of other plants. So we look at that, then we look, we hammer fertility. That each uh, goat must give you twins every single time. So feeding, fertility all go hand in hand together. So when we do our training, that's what we really hammer, hammer that, you know, so people can understand and then we, like we have the goats, so that there's, there's, it's, it's really a practical kind of training, which goes on for the whole day. And people, when, when they leave, we get a certif they get a certificate of appreciation and they get some notes that they can reference so they can read the notes if they've forgotten, they can say, ah, what was he saying? Yes, yes, this is the story here, you know, mm -hmm. so. That's how we do it. So how many people is there to come? So we've got about 280 breeding females and then 280. Mm -hmm. Then of those, um, uh, they two, uh... so we've got, we've got about three sections. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, Matabili crosses, mm -hmm. which do very well. We've got pure Kalaharis, which do very well. And then we've got some Boer goat crosses. So. We, we're going to swing those boar goat crosses more towards the Kalahari ones and then also we want to concentrate on the on the Matabili goat as well because the Matabili goat is also a very important animal uh, in our environment you know everyone thinks ah peche peche asam is tengin buze peche or is tengin kome peche we've got good genetics in this country so we need to look after those and we need to nurture them and we need to promote them because i believe myself the way the goat with climate change the way goat production is going in this country um, the demand for goat meat if we can have the metabilia has just been registered recently as a as a breed so if we can promote that breed we will have breeders from Ethiopia, Australia. I think Ethiopia is the second biggest producer of goat meat in the world. So we'll have Ethiopians saying we need those genetics from Matabili land, you know, that Matabili goat. And the same with Australia. They'll come and they'll get embryos. They'll come, they'll take semen to improve their goats and because it's a wonderful animal. Mm -hmm. So we've got 280 breeding females. Those 280 breeding females, we target 180% kids every year okay. then uh, we sell off during the year we let them grow up a little bit and we start selling whatever doesn't confirm for um, breeding we castrate okay. so we then sell for nyama okay. so the demand is high um, the the demand for goat meat i was reading an article uh, done by uh, the south african meat association uh, in South Africa, the, de the demand for goat meat is doubling every five years. Okay. So, um, which means that we need to promote it, we need to look at it, and we need to go forward with it.